Welcome to Go Go Sketchers! Today I'm going to show you how to draw Slimer in three easy steps. Some people have a system of measuring with rulers and tools, but once you get good at sketching, I believe this freehand is the best. So the most important thing is to remember about Slimer is the construction. One, Slimer has a body that's more like an egg with bottom heavy. And next, what you read, the second read, is the mouth and his teeth, the most recognizable. And the third most important thing here is the facial features. His eyes are quite close together. They're pointing down on the outside, so he's got that frown looking face. He's got wide nose, no bridge, very small. And the cheeks, and also a very small forehead. And his lip is barely a lip, but rather just a line. And then, from there, you can add in his chest. Because he is slime, once you get the facial feature and the mouth together, you can sketch him at any angle. So once you remember this concept in construction, you can draw Slimer from any view, actually, because he's nothing more than just a blob. What is important is in here, in his mouth. And his arm is more like an old man, kind of flabby, come down to skinny, but with big fingers. And I'll demonstrate for you really quick, sketching at different angles. So let's start with the blob. I like the egg shape. And let's go in with the mouth. For demonstrating purposes, it will be a bit messy. Now once you remember the formula, you just rough in the locations of the eyes. He's got the wide nostril nose. The big teeth. He's got these two bones on top of his eyes. And these two lines. And the most important thing is the big cheeks that he's got. And also, he's got a small forehead. So on this side, we started with this round, but we don't need this, so we can trim it off. If you use pencil, you can erase that line. And now, so under his mouth, you can put a little bit of this uh, line in here. Like a, it's not really a lip, and he's got a little bit of chest. So now I'm going to have his arms sort of extending up and out. Again, he's got a bit of a flabby arm. Skinny forearm, and then a big hand. Big fingers that he's got. I don't worry too much about the finger details. You can go in and clean that up later. He's raising his arm and he's trying to say something. So we don't need this where we started this with because he's got a small head and then it is go from his head to his back. His back basically is also the blob that comes out, right? And then it comes underneath his chest and goes back up. And Slimer's got a lot of wrinkles or lines, so you can put a few in. It doesn't matter where it is, just kind of go around his mouth. Now, if you're using a computer, uh, remember, you scan it in and you can paint it. Or you can put another piece of paper over it and then retrace it to clean up your lines if you like. Uh, it's also not necessary to put in the teeth on the bottom, but however, if you like, you can. Slimer's most important feature is the mouth. In here in the eyes, cheek, the eyeballs kind of facing down. And because he is slime, sometimes you draw from out of proportion is fine, as long as you get this feature correct. If you stretch a little bit, it's fine. You can go back in and say, I have some slime here, if you would like. 
and you can keep this sketch as a rough sketch or you can scan it in clean it up I mean, if you draw with a pencil you can always remove the lines that you don't want or or you can just go in with a marker and kind of darken it in make the lines powerful and strong then you don't even need to do anything other than just apply some color you can also use watercolor it's very it's very useful so once you darken in the line it looks nice and strong and a bit sketchy which in, sometimes it's good okay if I keep going I'll get carried away drawing and thickening up the lines I'll stop here